The Manassas Mall is a shopping center located in Bull Run, Virginia, which was opened in 1972. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around to the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. Where do you eat, shop, and play? Have you visited the new Manassas Mall? A whole new look and feel, and a great new lineup of stores, restaurants, and entertainment. Conveniently located right here in Manassas. The Manassas Mall was built by Interstate Properties in 1972. Grant City and Montgomery Wards served as the original anchors. In 1976, Grant City closed and Hext later occupied the vacant space left by Grant City. In the 1980s, Leggett Department Stores and Sears were added to the mall. During this time, there were four anchor stores in the mall, Sears, Leggett, Hex, and Montgomery Ward, along with mall favorites such as Britches, The Limited, and nearly 100 stores in all. You could have also added to that list Benetton, Levi Strauss, K Jewelers, Walden Books, and a dozen of retailers that have outlets in most if not all of the regional malls in that Washington area. If it's Calvin Klein or Ralph Lauren that shoppers want, or a washing machine or sterling silver, chances are they could find it at the Manassas Mall, with almost 90% of the mall leased in the late 1980s. The Manassas Mall had a shopping space of over 900,000 square feet, and was at the time larger than at least 10 other regional malls in the Washington area, including the White Flint Mall and the Wheaton Plaza in Montgomery County and Landmark Center in Alexandria. Leggett Department Store closed in 1997 and JCPenney's took over the space that same year. Also that year, Hext relocated to a new store with Target Corporation building a new store on the former Hex site. In 2001, Montgomery Wards closed. Sears moved into the former Montgomery Ward building. In 2006, Hex Department Store was rebranded as Macy's. In 2013, Target closed its doors and was filled by Autobahn and Uptown Alley three years later. In 2015, J.C. Penney's closed its doors, only to be filled by At Home a few months later. On November 7, 2019, it was announced that Sears would be closing this location as a part of a plan to close 96 stores nationwide. The store closed in February of 2020. So what are your memories of this mall? Leave a comment below. The current mall has three anchors, Walmart, Macy's, and At Home. With shopping space of 824,000 square feet, you can find over 80 stores at this mall. It is owned by Lionheart Capital LLC and managed by the Spinoso Real Estate Group, formerly by Vornado Realty Trust, which shelved its regional mall holdings in 2014. On April 2, 2021, there was a double shooting at the Virginia Manassas Mall that left a Baltimore man dead and another man injured. 
The two victims and a friend went out to the mall for an evening out when they encountered a second group of five unknown individuals. By all accounts, the two groups did not know each other. There was a relatively minor altercation inside the mall that didn't rise above some pushing and shoving. It escalated when they encountered each other outside the mall. A verbal argument ensued in the parking lot and one of the suspects brandished a firearm and fired multiple shots at the victims. The five subjects in the suspect group then entered a black BMW with Virginia temporary tags and they fled the area. As the vehicle was fleeing, a second suspect fired multiple shots in the directions of the victims. Police responded to the scene at 11.16 p.m. Uh, one of the victims was transported to the hospital where he died of his wounds and a second victim was evacuated by helicopter and is recovering. On a lighter note, we have come close to the end. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if you answered six, then you are definitely paying attention. Give yourself a hand. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C Productions.